want to see what this guy. I think we gotta put the phone in BFU mode. So, okay. Ah, my device is turned off. You probably will hear it or not. Uh, press mask. And, oh my god, I did it wrong. Ah, uh, let me do it again. Give me a second. Uh, okay. Um, you turn on your device, or follow, just follow the instructions, turn it on, now press the, the home button down. Do not let go of the power button. When you see that the app, Apple logo turns off, then you let go of the power button. So it would just be like this. Um, leave it all like that until you hear a noise or until, iPhone, or until iTunes opened up. So just leave it down, keep pressing it down, keep pressing it down. Alright, you see the little thing just turn on. Now my phone is in uh, DFE mode. Um, my screen is white right now, so I'm just waiting. So right now, I think, okay, this thing is going to take a while. Like, it's going to keep saying waiting for reboot. I don't know for how many times. All right, so now I got a little hard drive and a little green logo. I think you can't see it good because of the, uh, you should be able to see it better now, but I'm sorry if you can't. Uh, right there, you should be able to see it. This is what you're supposed to be getting. Um, so let's just finish for this. Let's just finish this up. <sighs> it took me a little while to figure out how this works because I had a 3.1.3, .3, so I downgraded to 3.0. The reason why I did it because I was uh, messing with tethering, seeing um, internet with your computer. So I found that 3.0 was made for that. But now. Um, yesterday I tried doing different metal. I upgraded my phone to a 3.1.3 .3 and downgraded it back to a 3.1.2. And every time I run Red Snow, I'll get a, a message saying um, I have no signal or my phone will just get stuck on the on this screen saying I'm um, activating bundles. But um, that would not happen today because um, the reason why that, that would not happen is because we ran um, um, Black Rain and it set up. I don't know, it did something that changed the modification of the phone, it says like, like it jailbreak it, so it forced started the phone. So right now, um, I'm waiting for this to fill up, it's up to right here, right there, but you can't see it because the screen is too bright, I can't put it, I can't put it down. Uh, so, just go back to the rest now and press finish, you really don't need to open right now. Oh, I don't think you ever need to open again. Uh, so we gotta wait until this thing finish. And I had a, I had a, I had a complaint on my other videos that um people rather have um somebody talking and showing how to do it than just a little notepad. But um I think I have been doing a great job with the notepad because I didn't have a microphone, nor a camera, no money, so. I bought this at Walmart for $18 and I got a microphone and a camera. It's not the best camera, but at least it's good so you don't get lost. Alright, over here, I didn't get the activating bundle, so now my phone is rebooting. That's what your phone should be looking like right now. And Apple logo is back on. And my iTunes should so, so, so open soon, but when it turns on. Okay, now we're just waiting for the iPhone to turn on. I've been lately since I put the 3.1.3, .3, it's it been taking a while to turn on. I don't really know why, but oh well. Um, also, don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment because um, I have been working hard on this thing to post up a video. So now you can see this. Um, you press unlock it. And you should see that my phone has signal. You see, I'm on AT&T, um, 4 bar, 3G. So this is how you, this is how you bypass um, Red Snow activating bundles. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, wait. And that's it, guys. Take care.